Hello, today we are going to talk about creating a wax resist. Now you can use old candles, could probably even get away with using a nice waxy colored pencil, but my favorite for this technique is crayons. Yeah, I have been known to go into my daughter's crayon box and sneak a few of my favorite colors, but not this year. Yeah, I totally love these specialty color packs that I found while we were out school shopping. They are perfect for me and they are cheap and I am a happy girl. Alright, now that we are packing some serious color, I've grabbed a sheet of paper. This is just an old dictionary page. I've also grabbed this cute little stencil. Now you can totally doodle, you can just give a little distress around your edges, you can write words, you can do anything you want. But I really like this stencil so I'm going to go with it. And now it is time to add your color. And when I say add color, I mean press hard. You want to get as much wax down onto the paper as possible because this is going to give you the most solid resist. Alright, I have completely colored in the interior of my stencil with these awesome neon crayons. Alright, now it is time to let our wax do its resist thing, so I'm going to completely cover my entire tag with a nice layer of paint. And while I'm painting, I'm going to talk about just a few different paints that will actually work with this technique. Think water-based paints. Acrylic paint works really well for this technique. If it's a really thick brand, you might want to water it down a little just to make it a little easier to remove in the end. Uh, watercolors work beautifully with this technique, but you will get a completely different look because the acrylic paint is very opaque and the watercolor obviously is going to be more translucent. Another thing you want to consider is the actual color of the wax you're using. For my project today, I've used a ton of neon crayons, but you will get a completely different look if you used a white crayon or a beeswax, which is much more clear. The possibilities are completely endless. Alright guys, I hope this has given you a few ideas on how to incorporate beautiful colored and clear waxes into your projects. Now hurry, if you're quick, you can sneak the good crayons out before the kids get home.